What's up guys and welcome back to another mini market breakdown video. Um, in today's video I am going to be analysing Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar um, just based on the trade that I took on Friday's day of trading. Now I just want to break this down from um, a top down analysis perspective as always so just breaking it down from the weekly time frame just to begin with. just want to outline a couple of things. So in terms of market structure as you can see, we do have this lower trend line here, um, just connecting the wicks of the lows, showing that it's a well-respected trend line as we have had four previous rejections from this level. Now, in terms of most recent price action, we did see a bearish engulfing candle rejecting a key area of resistance at 1.100, um, which did proceed to break below the weekly 50 MA adding additional confidence that this pair was very likely to become a bearish pair um, over the coming weeks and potentially months ahead. Now, in terms of breaking this down further, we did also break below a key area of support at 108.250 on the, on the previous weekly candle. Now, on the daily time frame, just breaking this down a little bit more clearer, we can actually see that price was within this descending wedge formation here that as you can see highlighted from this upper trend line as well as this lower trend line here just connecting the lows together um, showing it's a well respected trend line as you can see we've connected one two three lows together um, which obviously shows that this pair is respecting this trend line and once we did anticipate a break of this trend line um, you can be confident that this pair is likely to head short as I say when when we do see um, a structural breakout of the market you can always anticipate that a trend change has occurred and market sentiment has also changed um, from what could be a possible bullish sentiment to now a bearish sentiment. Now, as price was in this descending channel anyway, um, a break above or below would have suggested um, the direction in which we would be looking to take the trade in. Now, in terms of um, most recent price action, obviously on the daily, we did break below the trend line and we did break below a key areas area of support at 108.250. Um, now, I just want to break this down on the four hour time frame just because it is a little bit more clear and you can clearly see the impact of having key areas of support and resistance outlined um, on your charts. Now, on the four hour time frame, um, this is a pretty crisp setup. Um, that I actually took. So just a couple of factors that um, I was looking for in terms of to add confluence to the trade. So firstly, as we did refer to previously, we did have um, a break below the um, descending trend line, um, breaking below the trend line and a key area of support at 108.250. Now price did come back up and retest the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement as well as the 4 hour 50 EMA which as you can see if you look over to the left we do also have a previous area of minor support now acting as resistance as shown here. Um, as you can see um, price came back up into this sell region as you can see a previous area of resistance here and a previous area of support um, before a rapid sell-off occurred in the market. Now once this sell-off occurred price once again did bounce off this key level of 107,500 um, and for a third or fourth time within the market now showing that it's a strong area of key support before coming back up to make a um, lower high um, before a new low was formed breaking below 107,500 support. Now once this new low had been formed this is when I began to become interested in the market um, and I could actually take in the pair short um, a retest of the 107,500 area of resistance. So as you can see we've got key areas of support um, lined up nicely in the market. Now price did break below and come back up and retest the level as resistance before once again making a new low. Now on the one hour time frame you can see this even more clearer um, as you can see price once it had made this new low we then started to form a, a correction which gave me an opportunity to get in short of the market. Now um, what I was looking for was a rejection of 107,500 resistance again and a close below the 1 hour 50 MA showing that a strong rejection had occurred. Similarly I was also waiting for a break of this counter trend line here. As you can see I've just, I've just connected the lows um, in this correction so as you can see we've got one, two and three rejections of the trend line before we did eventually see a bearish breakout followed by a, a retest of the trend line and the 1 hour 50 MA before a bearish 1 hour engulfing candle um, was posted. Now 
In terms of um, projecting a exit for this position, now my my first target is set at the minus 27% Fibonacci retracement as per our strategy, uh, which lines up nicely at 1.06500. So roughly another 40 pips or so, I am expecting this pair to fall. Um, now in terms of the actual setup that I took in terms of risk to reward, um, let me just line this up for you just to make it a little bit more clearer. So as you can see, we had a risk to reward of 2.66. Uh, we had our stop loss held just above the previous high, um, as well as above 1.07500 area resistance. And we had our target set at the minus 27% Fibonacci extension after seeing a break of this counter trend line here. Um, so essentially what I'm trying to show you in this video is just how to take um, a setup based on technical analysis and basically adding up confluences in the market which give you an overall market sentiment and a market bias and then incorporating that within a valid setup within the market as per our strategy that we have taught um, with regards to seeing an impulse to the downside as you can see from this previous bearish impulse we've now seen a correction as well as a retest of several key levels of resistance um, and then a further bearish move in terms of a continuation um, down to the minus 27% Fibonacci extension. Um, as I say, if you do have any other questions or queries, I'll be more than likely um, to post the outcome of this trade um, in the next few days or so on our Instagram. Um, so if you do have any other questions or queries in and around that trade, be sure to send me a DM or um, get in contact with me via email. Other than that, enjoy the rest of your week and we'll catch up with you again soon.